When the lead designer and project director of Fallout New Vegas, Josh Sawyer, was asked about the Courier stash and its effect on the early game of New Vegas, he had this to say. Do I think that the Courier stash DLC breaks the early game? When making the game, were you aware that it was going to be there? Yes, I said, I hate this fucking shit. I don't want to do it. I always hate pre-order bonuses. <laughs> always. I'm sorry. I fucking hate them. He views that the pre-order bonuses, which are now a DLC for New Vegas, overpower the player early on and cause an imbalance with the early game. I agree with this sentiment, but was also curious as to how far these items will get you in New Vegas. That's what we are here to find out today. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas only using the Courier stash? To start, let's go over the rules. The only items I can use during this, excluding keys, caps, and quest items, are those that are given with the Courier stash. These items include four armors, a machete, pistol, shotgun, grenade launcher, and ammo for said weapons. There are also a few healing items. These healing items are five stim packs, three super stim packs, and three doctor's bags. I am not going to purchase any ammo for the weapons or pay for repairs. We are also playing on normal difficulty. Our character starts the game out being shot in the head and is healed by the town doctor. This is our chance to build our character. For our special, I bring intelligence to 10 for skill points, strength to 7 for melee weapons, and charisma to 1 since it's useless. For our attack skills, we tag melee weapons to conserve ammo until it's necessary, speech for the ending of the game, and science for a possible science check needed for later on in the game. We use good nature as our only trait for extra skill points. The doctor gives us extra items that are not a part of the courier stash, and I drop them and equip the tribal raiding armor, which is the weakest of the four armors available. I did this thinking it may deteriorate over time and wanted to save the good armors for the end of the game. My plan was to stick with the machete given by one of the packs for as long as possible until a firearm was needed. We leave the good doctor's house and completely ignore the first act of New Vegas to get to the strip. To do this we need to head north of Good Springs through Deathclaw territory. We don't have a stealth boy so I try staying high and away from the Deathclaws. The first attempt doesn't work and we get a big hug by a Deathclaw. I then try to sneak through Black Mountain, which houses hostile super mutants. We successfully sneak by through a booby-trapped hill, and should now have safe passage to the strip. We continue to head north, and our first stop is the NCR stronghold of Camp McCarran, hoping to get into the strip through the monorail there. The NCR, or New California Republic, is a post-nuclear war, democratic nation trying to take over New Vegas for themselves and expand their hold from just California. Inside the camp, I am stopped by NCR soldiers from getting on the monorail, so we grab the quest, I put a spell on you, and head to Freeside. At Freeside, I head to the Atomic Wrangler and grab the quest Wang Dang Atomic Tango for some caps from James Garrett. This quest has us needing to get new employees to satisfy certain customers at the Atomic Wrangler. I try to recruit a new employee, but I do not have the speech skill for it, so I head back to Camp McCarran to do I put a spell on you. This quest has us tracking down a potential spy in the NCR camp. It turns out this spy is an NCR captain, and we can catch him in the control tower informing the Legion that he plans on blowing up the monorail with a planted bomb. The Legion, or Caesar's Legion, is an imperialistic dictatorship run by a man who now goes by the name Caesar. We confront the captain in the control tower and kill him. We then rush over to the monorail. At the monorail we use a science check and defuse the bomb. We are successful in defusing it and inform the colonel. This completes the quest and we level up. We hit level 2 and 3 and put points into speech and science. For our perk, we pick intense training for an extra point of agility. We then head back up to the monorail to see if we can get in, but we can't because the guards are back. If we weren't restricted by the courier stash, we could use an NCR disguise to get onto the monorail and into the strip. Since that's not available, our choices now for gaining access to the strip are to do either a credit check of 2000 caps or a science check of 80 at the strip gate. We head to Freeside and continue the recruitment process for the Atomic Wrangler. The specifics of this quest have us needing to recruit a suave boyfriend type, a ghoul cowboy, and a sex bot. We know who each one of these is and head to the boyfriend type first. With a speech check he agrees to entertain. Next is the ghoul cowboy. A speech check with her gets her to agree and she is now headed there for work. All we have left is the sex robot. At the robot shop, we find a robot that is ready for programming. The problem is, I don't have the science skill to program the robot myself, so we skip it and head back to James Garrett at the Atomic Wrangler. Before talking to him, we talk to his sister Francine. She gives us the quest Debt Collector, which has us collecting caps from those that owe the Garrett twins. We inform James of the two new employees, and it boosts us to level 4. We bring up our speech and science and pick Educated for more skill points later on. The quest Debt Collectors has us collecting debts from three people. The stories of these people doesn't matter much, and with a speech check on all three, we collect the debts. 
We hold on to these debts in case we need them for a credit check. At this point, it's just a race to see if I can get my science skill up to 80 or 2,000 bottle caps. Another easy quest in Freeside is one for the followers of the apocalypse. We head to the Old Mormon Fort, home of the followers, and are given the quest High Times by Julie Farkas. She needs us to convince addicts to sober up. This is a pretty easy quest with our speech skill. We threaten the addict's dealer, and he agrees to stop selling to them. We tell one addict that through the power of determination and belief of his friends, he can sober up. The other addict is pretty much the same thing and they both agree to become sober. We inform Julie Farkas of their sobriety and hit level 5. We put all our points into science and head to Prim for another easy quest. Prim is taken over by bandits and we need to rescue the deputy of the town. The deputy was kidnapped and is located inside the Bison Steve Hotel. Bandits now guard him inside there. We enter and we kill some bandits, some bandits kill themselves, and then we rescue the captured deputy. He informs us that the town needs a new sheriff. We know exactly what to do, so we go and program the local robot with a science check and he becomes the new sheriff. We are so close to level 6 at this point and I know an easy way to get the remaining experience points. We look at a display case in the casino and then hack the sheriff, boosting us up to 6. With this advanced level, we bring science to 80 and speech to 71. Our perk is bloody mess for more damage and it's time to go into the strip. Back at Freeside, we hack the robot guarding the gate and head inside to the strip. We make our way to the Topps Casino, where Benny, the man who shot us, is located. We hit level 7 by looking at Benny and put more points in the speech. We talk to Swank, one of the chairmen at the front, and pass several speech checks. He gives us a key and sends Benny to a suite where we machete him with our machete. We need to use our first stim pack at this point and we find Yes Man. Yes Man gives us the rundown of how to take over New Vegas for ourselves. We need to take out Mr. House and talk to the local tribes in the area. This will allow New Vegas to be independent and kick the NCR and Legion out of New Vegas. We need to pick up the platinum chip from Benny's corpse and this boosts us to level 8. We push speech to 100 and put the remaining in melee for extra damage for our machete. We pick Confirmed Bachelor as our perk for extra damage against men. We go to the Lucky 38, home of Mr. House. We hack through his security and get to Mr. House's chambers. With access to his chambers, we kill Mr. House with our machete. The next thing for us to do is meet with local tribes. First on our list of tribes is the White Glove Society located in the Ultralux Casino. We run into the Ultralux, talk to Mortimer, and that's all we need to do for them. Next we go to the 188 Trading Post and talk to a woman in rags. Her name is Veronica and we find out she is a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. She wants to join us on our journey but we tell her to hold tight. We then meander our way to Hidden Valley. On our way there I see a Powder Ganger camp and I accidentally set off a charge there. This requires me to use a stim pack. Only three regular stim packs left at this point. We hit Hidden Valley and clear the Bark Scorpions there. If we had Veronica with us, she may have helped us, and I consider that as not a part of the courier stash. With them dead, we grab Veronica and go to Hidden Valley. She gets us into the Brotherhood Stronghold there, and we talk to Paladin Ramos. Once that is done, that is considered meeting the Brotherhood. At this point in the game, I want to switch over to my lightweight leather armor, which has a better damage threshold. We want to make our way to where the cons are at Red Rock Canyon and come across a young Deathclaw. This Deathclaw requires me to use my grenade launcher, and I use two super stim packs to heal. This is the first time I use a weapon that is not my machete. Going forward, we try and sneak by a Viper gang located at Bonnie Springs and they spot us. They proceed to shoot at us, and one throws a plasma grenade and kills a member of his gang. I switch to my shotgun and use my last super stim pack and two other stim packs. Just one stim pack left. For the remaining Vipers, we just outrun them and hit Red Rock Canyon. We talk to Regis and that's all we need to do for meeting the Great Cons. We have the Boomers next. The Boomers, who are hiding out and secured at an old Air Force base, send a bombardment at strangers when they try to approach their base. This includes us and the best way that I can get through with only one stim pack and three doctor's bags left is through the train tracks. I die several times doing this, but we eventually make it to the gate and it only cost me one doctor's bag. We are taken to the leader of the boomers and this is considered meeting with them. We have just one tribe left. The last tribe is those that are located at the Gamora Casino on the Strip. We walk in and that's all that is needed for them. We have now met all the tribes that matter around New Vegas. We go to tell Yes Man and find him outside of the Topps Casino and he makes his way to the Lucky 38. He becomes the big computer and this boosts us to level 9. We put points into explosives and guns for the end of the game. He then asks us about the tribes and we tell him that we don't care about any of them. Next, he tells us the Legion is going to assassinate the president of the NCR. We cannot be bothered by this. He has to agree with us and we proceed forward. He tells us the next thing we need to do is install something at the El Dorado substation. We reach the substation and wait until night. We sneak inside and install the thing. We leave and then head back to Yes Man. The final battle is ready and we proceed forward. 
This battle is rough with only one stim pack and not much ammo. I use my throwing spears to start off and quickly blow through those. I switch back and forth between my shotgun and my pistol during this battle, blowing through the ammo. We get to a safe point and I eventually switch over to the best armor I have and use my last stim pack. My only remaining health item is my Vault 13 Canteen, which heals us slowly over time so we get some health every now and then. We get to the control room and install an override chip. Next we need to destroy the pumps there. Once we destroy the pumps, this turns the NCR hostile to us and we have to run through them with no healing items. What I eventually do is just sit and let time go by in real life. This allows our canteen to heal us and we get a little bit more health. We still die several times trying to get through the Legion and NCR, but eventually we get out. On the other side of the plant, we are met by two Securitrons. One of these Securitrons is just for show, so they don't help much. I continue to keep dying, and even one of my Securitrons kills me. On the push that gets us to the Legates camp, I run out of shotgun and pistol ammo, but we finally get to the Legates camp. I was saving my grenade launcher ammo for this point, but I never needed it. The enemies in the Legates camp all have unarmed weapons, so I can run right by them. I end up beating the game with grenade launcher ammo, which was a huge waste. I run up to the Legate of the Legion, which is the boss of the game, and use speech to talk him down. We proceed to leave the camp and are confronted by the General of the NCR. I don't know why I did this, but I talked shit to the General and this caused him and his soldiers to turn hostile. I died at this point and had to redo the whole Legate speech again. The second time around I get the General to retreat and I beat Fallout New Vegas with only the Courier's stash. When I started this playthrough I thought it would be a lot easier than it was, but even on normal it got difficult towards the end. I know that if I had spent more time doing quests and leveling up my character, it could have been easier, but I was worried about running through ammo and the last remaining stim pack that I had. What do you guys think about the Courier stash in New Vegas? Does it overpower the player at the beginning of New Vegas? What did you think of this playthrough? Feel free to check out my other Fallout videos. To see more videos like this, please subscribe, share, and hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.